And welcome to It's About Time. I'm your host, Shannon Moyler. On today's show, we have the sensational Saffron Barker joining us to talk about her life as a YouTuber, as well as some of the exciting things that she has been involved in. But first, we have a heartwarming performance from the one and only Lucia.
That performance was just beautiful. It has definitely got us ready to introduce Saffron Barker to the show for the first time. However, before we do, let's have a look at her story so far. Hi everyone, I'm Saffron and I'm a vlogger. You guys are amazing. My full name is Saffron Autumn Barker. So it was the 20th of July 2000 when I entered the world. Singing, dancing and acting was all I ever did in my spare time. I done that every single day after school and I even done it on the weekends too. In 2012, one day our singing teacher asked myself and my three best friends if we'd like to form a band. And that was when Born to Blush was formed. Me and the girls spent every day rehearsing and practicing. Singing became my life and the girls were my world. So that was that. August 1st, I set up my own YouTube channel and did my very first vlog on YouTube. Thank you. This channel was growing so fast, so on the 28th of October, I set up my second channel where I do my daily vlogs. This is called Safra Barker Vlogs. I absolutely love vlogging and I love this channel. I feel as if on this channel you guys get to know me a lot better and I get to interact with you guys a lot more, which makes me so happy. My vlog's better. Later that month, I released my own merchandise, which is absolutely crazy and the response has been overwhelming. Thank you guys again. I love you. So, that's my life so far. I really hope you guys enjoyed and for the future, who knows? Watch this space. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome Saffron Barker to the stage. Hi. Hiya. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Good. Yeah. Uh, just going to ask some few questions today, if okay. that's all right. Um, so I've heard about your new Primark range, yeah. um, as many of your subscribers and millions of people have known about that. So. Um, I've received a few questions from your fans about it and I was wondering if we can go through that, if that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, the first question was, um, what's your favourite product from your range? So it's two. Mm -hmm. the, the snuggler, that is brilliant. It's dead cosy and it's dead warm. What and is it's, that? It's like, um, oh, it's brilliant. It's like this big oversized hoodie meets dressing gown thing. You can sleep in it as well. It's yeah. got a big pocket in the front and little pom poms. So it'd be good for winter then. It's very good for winter. It's good because it's so cold recently. Yeah, yeah. Um, another one asked, like, what inspired your range? Like, was there, was it just a quick thing, or was it like, did someone tell you to? Or no, it took for ages. So I just really wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. I wanted to um, I wanted like do something that was different to just making videos, I wanted to make a product. Yeah. And a Primark actually got in touch with me. Yeah. And was just like, we're looking at teaming up with a YouTuber. And I was like, I'm completely up for that. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Also, it's like something you give back to your fans as well, like. 100%. Almost like a thank you, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's it like bringing your own range out? Like, as obviously you're saying it's quite hard. Um, yeah. What was it like bringing that out at such a young age as well? It's really stressful, like really stressful. It's so much more work than you expect it is. Yeah, I can imagine. Everything has to be tested, even literally down to the fabric you're using, but for things that you just wouldn't even expect. And there's just so much work going into the designs and there's such a huge group of people working on every different aspect of it. It takes a very long time. Yeah, I bet as well, because there's so many fans as well wanting it. Yeah, I wanted to make it perfect. Yeah. It had to be perfect. Of course. Um, well, thank you for that small part of the information. Uh, we're going to go over to the recent news stories and we'll be back with more questions and interviews. Okay. Thank you, Shannon. This year has started off as a very interesting year and it's not going to stop now. There are still arguments against the recent Brexit decision for the UK to leave the EU, with many MPs saying that we should have a revote. In other news, YouTube Saffron Barker has just released a book, and our presenter, Sophie, went to London to see what the atmosphere was like at one of her book signings. 
I'm here outside WH Smith in London Piccadilly, where famous YouTuber Saffron Barker is signing thousands of copies of her new book. Saffron's book, Saffron Barker vs. Real Life, was released at the end of 2017, just after she hit 1 million subscribers in late July. Fans have been queuing here from as early as 5 this morning, all hoping to meet this YouTube sensation. In the book, Saffron Barker talks about her life as a YouTuber, along with a dream world that she's made up in her head. Saffron says that the book is a thank you to all her subscribers who support her day in, day out. The book is being sold in WH Smith and Waterstones stores across the country, with signed copies also available on Amazon. Back to you in the studio. As you can see, this book is doing very well indeed, and I'm more interested and in more interesting news, the solar eclipse will be visible for the first time since 1979. This is, this is an exciting experience that many people will be excited to see. The solar e eclipse will be visible at around 1pm this coming Friday. Back to you in the studio. Ah, welcome back. Um, so we're sat here with Saffron Barker, just going through some questions and stuff that our fans want. Um, so we're going to... Um, talk about your book so you've recently released a book called my perfect my perfectly filtered life versus real life I actually yeah. have it here as well <laughs> um so I have a few questions about it um what made you want to write your book um it was quite similar to bringing out a clothing range well a range for Primark it's something completely different mm -hmm. and it's giving back and it's a book's really personal and especially the content of that particular book, yeah. it's explaining to viewers like my life and I think letting them in to that part of my life, it's, it's, it's just something that I could do for them. As well as like your videos, so it's more yeah. personal than your videos. Yeah, it's letting them in. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Especially your age as well, releasing a book like this, just, it's not the most common of things like having some, someone so young wanting to release a book as well for fans um so for the title um my perfectly filtered life versus real life we've had a few questions about that like what do you mean by that so the book i don't know if you read it it's split into two yeah. and there's real life and then there's this other life that i've created in my head and it's like the perfect life it, that's the thing and it's sort of shown a comparison between like what really happens in life yeah. growing up as a teen and what people want to happen or what you expect to happen yeah. or what people for some reason believe that happens to other people and I feel like it was really important to get that across to people because being an influencer on YouTube people just have this assumption that everything in your life is going absolutely perfect yeah. at all times like because you only see a part of them it's like a little it's like a big square is your life and then the little yeah. hole is what they see through. So and they only see a, like yeah, a preview of it. Yeah, and it's really a, a blurred image. So I wanted to show them that that is what they think yeah. is happening, but then also what was really happening and how different they are. Oh, right. So it's like a, almost not, hmm, I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, so it's not like um, a made up sort of life, is it? It's more no. just given the real real yeah. thing really yeah. the tea. <laughs> um, so like your Primark range was this um, hard to bring out or was it just an easy thing to do um, I think with a book especially it's because it is so personal mm -hmm. it's really exposing so it's not like I'm coming up with a print for something Yeah, it's documenting my actual life like all the embarrassments in there, like things that make me happy are in there, things that have given me a really low mood are in there, and it's just like just letting everybody see it. It's yeah. like being naked. Oh. You, there's no, yeah, there's there's nothing covering. No filter. No just filter. People can just people can read yeah. what is going on. So um, you also released a, a campaign as well. So we're gonna go over and have a look at the campaign video now.
Mental health stigma still affects people within everyday society. It can happen within a school, a park, or even within a home. It can happen to anyone, and it can come from anyone. So why are we left to deal with that? Why us? What have we done to deserve this? Why are we the ones that have to live in fear, to feel isolated, to feel like there's nowhere we can turn? Why us? On average, in a school of 1,300 pupils, 135 of them would experience a mental health issue as a child, and 325 of them would experience it at some point within their lives. No matter how hard you try and cover something up, it's always there, like a constant shadow, following us, stalking us, torturing us. Join us in supporting the I Am Whole campaign. And let's tackle stigma together. Because it's okay not to be okay. I am home. 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 So that was the uh, I'm Whole campaign. Um, so Saffron, tell me about the campaign and what it means to you. The campaign means quite a lot to me. It's the topic it's about. It's something that affects everyone. Yeah. And I think it's so important to raise awareness for it, especially in teens. Because even though it is more spoken about now, there's still so much. Like People don't know. Yeah. Like, and people are almost ashamed of it. Yeah. They shouldn't be ashamed, but no. it's just one of those things, especially growing up trying to fit in, make friends. If you've got this problem, then I suppose it's well, not a problem, but like if you it's just harder. Suffer with it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, what do you think it would mean to your fans having this campaign out? I'd like to push this campaign to them because there could be some of them who are struggling. You might not even know what it is they're struggling with. Yeah, but it's something that could it helps. Yeah, it can help people. And I want them to be aware and I want it to be an open conversation. Not just something people hide away. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is one of the main things that causes like issues and stuff. People hiding, not speaking about it and stuff. So it, it's great that you've, you've actually released something like this because it, it helps many people. Um, so how did you come about making it? Like, How did you do it? It was actually a high school teacher who got in contact with me. Um, she'd been approached by, it was a charity who was working with the, na with the NHS at the time. And they'd asked the school to create a video or something that could go on media for bringing awareness to the, to the subject yeah. that could be shown in schools, their school and all, like other schools in the borough. 
and it just ended up being like so much bigger than they thought it thought it would be and it's actually my favorite teacher from high school really <laughs> and she phoned me up and she was just like we're making this video will you help us will you bring some equipment will you be part of this and they had this idea to do the makeup on the face with the contour and like the yeah. concealer so it was like i was straight in for it it's like yeah i'll do that of course because you're, you're such a big influence to so many people it would just it only seemed right for you to be there you know so many people watching you your subscribers um just gets the views up and then gets the word out spreads it um so with the campaign um was it just a, a thought to happen so like with the nhs did you just think of it or did it take a long time to plan or well before i even got involved in the project before i knew it was a thing they had they had the idea already um and then when they invited me in, we sat down, we spoke through it, I had my input, and then we sort of just like changed it up a little bit. Yeah, just feeling more suitable for you and like your fans and stuff, so. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. Um, with the campaign, um, does it um, involve all people like with is it just people with problems like with mental health issues or is it just people with like with some sort of struggles or or does it just focus mainly on the mental health it does focus mainly on mental health but the idea of i am whole i think that includes everybody mm -hmm. i feel like whether you have got a mental health condition or not if you're struggling in any way even yeah. if it's just a little bit extra stress than usual anything at all I feel like that's something that should still be spoken about. It's so Just important. dealing with things because it's them little things that are sort of pushed aside and ignored for so long. They build up and then, then it becomes a real problem. It becomes something a lot bigger than it should have ever become. Yeah. Um, so do you, do you think that you'll be having any more campaigns or it, would you like this campaign to grow into a bigger thing? I'd love this campaign to grow so much bigger. I think I'd, I'd like, I'd like it to just, I'd love it to be overseas. I'd love it to be something so huge. Worldwide thing. Yeah, yeah, I am whole. I think that's such a beautiful thing, like yeah. for a person to feel whole. And you, you must be proud of the achievements of all the views you've been getting so far. I'm very proud, and I'm very proud of everybody involved, because a lot of the people in the campaign were just high school kids. Like yeah. they're only young. And it's such a big thing to be a part of. Especially because you're, you're young as well, you must experience some stresses yourself. Mm -hmm. um, especially being on YouTube and stuff, trying to like fit in and sort of not say the wrong thing, because obviously the internet's quite, it's a massive thing. So obviously wanting to fit in, say the right things and stuff. So I can imagine it'd be quite stressful for you too. It's really stressful because because I'm not using this in it, like, as an excuse for anything, but no, because I'm young, it's still growing up. Like, everybody makes mistakes when they're younger, but people make them like behind closed doors. I make them publicly. Any mistake, like little mistake I make, it's known. Yeah, It's not just like I can grow up, do something stupid, and apologize for it. It's not hidden either. No, mm -hmm. it's it's out there in the open. So I, I don't really have room to make mistakes. And if I do, it could be so little, but it blows into something way out yeah. of proportion. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, well, I think it's wonderful that such a young and talented person is uh, is working with campaigns. And obviously, yeah, so I, can, I can only say only than you being young is just, it's, I think it's incredible that you've taken this into consideration of younger people and wanting to help. Um, so uh, I think, yeah, I think it's amazing um, that you're making a campaign to make such a difference to people. Um, well, it's all we have time for today. I wish I could stay and speak longer to you, but thank you so much for joining us. Um, so to close today, we're going to pass over to the amazing Costella with music that I think and probably everyone thinks that you're going to love. <laughs> so good night. Thank you.
better now Heard the world still calling out for you I followed the sun when the rain was pouring I wait for the day when my soul stops falling I hope it's better now Heard the sky still looking out for you Don't be too far out You know I'd reach on now When the world stops turning You know I'm loving But if time ain't on our side Then what do we wait for? It's getting late But my eyes wide open There's no need to fall out, you know I reach out now when the world stops turning. You know I'm loving, but if time ain't on our side, then what do we wait for? Oh. i